everyone, I'm Shani and today I'm going to be showing you a vintage haul. So this is some things I've picked up recently in the last few months. And yeah, if you enjoy vintage girly things, then just keep on watching. So I have some new Pyrex additions. So if you remember from previous hauls, I absolutely love the Cinderella Gooseberry Pyrex design from the late 50s, early 60s. And this is their bowls and I have all four of this design but recently I found the matching little dish. This is the 502 Pyrex dish and I think there's supposed to be a lid to it. It didn't have a lid but I got a super good deal for this. I think it was like five bucks or under so I could not pass it up and it has the cute little pink design. So it is white, but on the ends has this little print, which I absolutely love. So super excited to add this to my collection. I'm guessing they're probably around the 50s, 60s time as well, time frame as well. Uh, but for a gift, my amazing aunt Karen gave me these super gorgeous glass dish, uh, little dishes with the cute pink design. I don't know if you can see it, but it is the same matching the other dish where I have. So I'm so excited to have these. I think there was eight of them in the pack that she gave me. So I am thrilled to have these. And I've been using these like every morning to put my breakfast on. So absolutely love this. Such a thoughtful gift. I forgot to mention what I'm wearing today. I am wearing the Natasha Denona pastel palette and then also the Rare Beauty Courage Lip Cream with the Pamela Thrive Cosmetics Lip Gloss. Next, I have another exciting new thing that I've been kind of collecting. So if you watch my bag of antique treasure video, I got this gorgeous DuJour Kiss Sachet and I love this. I have this on display normally in my dining area. I always admired DuJour Kiss and so I kind of was looking on Etsy just seeing what they had there and they have such amazing advertisements from like the 20s. So I had to pick up one. Let me show you. So this one is from the Ladies Home Journal from February 1920. So it is a hundred years old, over a hundred years old, but look at how stunning this ad is. With the little fairies. I'm telling you, they had the most gorgeous ads and so I absolutely fell in love and had to have it. I need to find a frame for it, but it is just so, so beautiful and so whimsical and like so unique from advertising today. I just feel like this is stunning with the pillar and the fairies and there's like little, I don't even know, there's just like so many details if you look closer. So I'm so in love with that. I cannot wait to get a frame for that and hang it somewhere. But then I was in Ohio actually with my boyfriend's family and we went antiquing and that was super fun and i stumbled across this and so that ad was i believe around 40 dollars, but it was so gorgeous i could not pass it up this was five dollars for the ad and the frame i could not believe it so this is also the ladies home journal this is april 1923 so a little bit like three years later than that one but this is so cute and also they are a Paris based brand I believe so that is also why I love them. Here is this one. Also really really cute and I like the frame that it's in too so I haven't decided where I want to hang this one but it's also very whimsical and cute. So I'm just so excited to now be collecting du jour kiss advertisements. Definitely one of my favorite, probably my favorite advertising I've ever seen. And I just love the whimsical fairy-like aspect of it. So I can't wait to hang those up and I'm glad to share that with you. Next, I have some vintage nightgowns. I collect vintage nightgowns as well. And this one I found actually on my birthday. Here, I'll show you the tag. 
and it's super nice it's kind of big on me but it's super nice and cozy it is white and or cream and look at this gorgeous detailing there's two little bows and then lace in between it is so cute nothing fancy besides the top but it's so comfortable and I've been wearing this one a lot and I feel like it is just nice because it's shorter as well I like more shorter uh, nightgowns but yeah love this so that was I think only like three or four bucks at a thrift store and then in an antique store in Ohio I found this gorgeous gorgeous nightgown set this is the brand designer line Hollywood here's the tag and it might be hard to show because there's like multiple parts to it but this is the night jacket part first so you have this gorgeous lace that like goes in front of it but yet it also this is still the bad jacket and goes all the way down the buttons here have lace on them as well like so so cute and then the bottom has some lace trimming and then the actual nightgown has this gorgeous pink color it's kind of hard to show here's the lace but this isn't even the best part if you look at the bottom it has this gorgeous bow and embroider detailing come on it's so so cute i'm just so excited to own this it's a little hard to show but i am just so thrilled it's so gorgeous with the lace and the pink i just love it so much i think this might be from the 50s or the 60s and then the um the white one might be newer than that i'm not a hundred percent sure but so excited to add these to my collection i found this in new york actually when i was visiting there this is the jack rose toilet water and it is just so cute i loved the top of it here it is the bacorn company perfumers in elmira new york which is really cool and i love the writing on the sides and the roses everywhere i love roses so i just thought this was super cute and very detailed i just love it so i couldn't find the date of this exact uh toilet water but one in the very same packaging basically or similar packaging just with different imagery on it was from 1915 so this i don't know maybe Maybe I'm wrong, but it could be from like the 20s, I'm guessing. And I have this displayed in my bathroom and I love it. So yeah, I just thought this was adorable and I think it was $20. Then on my birthday, I found this at an antique store. It is an old Peter Pan record. How cute. I collect records as well. I love records. And so I thought this was really cool. And the Disney records can be harder to find. Um, I don't remember how much money this was. It might have been around 15, but it has all the like storybook pages in it and it's just so cute. So this one is from 1969. This isn't vintage, but it's vintage inspired, I guess. This is a Audrey Hepburn book. It's called Audrey the 60s and I'm so excited to read this and look at all the gorgeous pictures but the cover totally caught my eye look at her eye makeup it's stunning uh, but yeah I'm excited to have this I love Audrey Hepburn and I think this will be such a cool addition to my book collection and I have so many collections oh my gosh <laughs> But I just could not pass this up. This actually I found at TJ Maxx for around $20, I think. And it's just such a big book of like so many gorgeous imagery. Like look, I'm so excited. Another vintage inspired item is this Dita little head vase. So I've always wanted 
the head vases almost like those vintage i think they're called vintage head vases and um i haven't really found one that i needed or that i wanted for myself but none of them normally have black hair i feel like so i recently have been reading dita von Teese's beauty book called your beauty mark i believe it's called and i don't know i just started reading about dita von Teese, and she has these gorgeous little head vases that are supposed to look like her but because it has dark hair pale skin it kind of I don't know I kind of was was like oh that's so cute I love it so I wanted to pick this one up also because my one bathroom is red themed and I thought this would look cute in there so you can put makeup brushes flowers anything in here and I just think it's so cute then another thing I got vent that is vintage is this gorgeous little bag. It is kind of like a beige color with all these other colors inside here. And apparently it was my great grandma's bag. So I'm excited to have this and I think it's really cute. It's like kind of mesh on the inside. Um, yeah, I don't know. I love history. I love, you know, antiques or history things that belonged to my family so I'm super happy to have this and I will definitely appreciate it. It was raining and now the sun is out. I love it. This is not too vintage but for my birthday my amazing friend Nikki gave me this rainbow magic special edition Shannon the Ocean Fairy and I used to read these books so much when I was little so I was so excited to see this and of course it's my name so I was so excited and I wanted to share this with you so we went back to the bookstore later and I found these two this is Belle the birthday fairy and Alicia the the snow queen fairy so I want to read these just for fun because I miss being a child <laughs> and tell me if you read these when you were little I really loved them and so this was a nostalgic moment for me. But yeah, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this vintage haul. I love sharing my vintage finds. I think it's just a fun, fun way to talk about vintage stuff. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.